वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सेफ्टी गाइडलाइंस माई नेम इज़ फ़हीम आजम एंड आई शैल शेयर एन अदर इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो अबाउट बेसिक टिप्स ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन सेफ्टी टेबल ऑफ कॉन्टेंट्स इज बेसिक सेफ्टी रूल्स एक्सकवेशन कन्फाइंड स्पेस हैंड टूल्स एंड पावर टूल्स stop any unsafe work immediately stop any unsafe work that has the potential to injure personnel damage equipment or harm the environment for example manual excavation is carried out without wearing the ppe stop them and arrange a toolbox stock on associated hazards provide them the full ppe to resume the activity report incidents immediately report all work related injuries illness or vehicle collisions to your supervisor no matter how slight it is immediately report all fires spills to your supervisor no matter how small they are immediately report any unsafe condition practice near miss or incident to your supervisor dear all if you are not aware of any near miss it is an important and interesting topic soon i shall share an informative and detailed video on it near miss is also called a close call follow safe practices operators of vehicles shall comply with all traffic rules requirements particularly speed limits all persons in vehicles shall wear seat belt at all times when ascending or descending stairways use the handrail and take only one step at a time erect barricades flagging around hazardous work areas such as holes in decking and floor surfaces trenches road crossings and overhead hazardous work use only proper tools and equipment maintained in a safe working condition homemade tools are prohibited maintain good housekeeping in your work area at all times smoking is permitted in designated areas only matches and lighters are prohibited in restricted areas avoid unsafe activities climbing or standing on equipment piping walls or unstable surfaces like chairs or drums to perform work is prohibited approved fall protection measures for example safety harness or scaffolding platform shall be used if the working height is greater than 6 feet from floor or platform level running in work areas is prohibited except during an emergency finger rings wrist watches jewelry loose clothing unsecured long hair and other loose accessories shall not be worn within an arm's reach of rotating equipment or electrical switch gear do not apply compressed air or other gases to yourself or others horseplay or fighting on site premises is prohibited protect yourself approved hard hats without defects shall be worn in designated areas approved safety footwear shall be worn in field operations process areas and other designated areas 
approved safety eyewear with side protection shall be worn where designated approved additional hazard specific eye face protection for example goggles and are a face shield shall be worn where foreign objects may injure the eye or face for example doing the activity of grinding welding drilling or scraping let's talk about excavation and trenching what is the purpose of excavation and trenching the purpose of the excavation and trenching process is to ensure proper planning and design of excavation and trenching operations including entry of personnel an excavation safety checklist is required for all excavations 4 feet and deeper It is also required when excavation deeper than 1 feet where buried pipelines or cables may be present. Note that excavations 4 feet and deeper may also require a confined space entry permit. Let's talk about the requirements for excavation construction. identify all utilities and lines and notify appropriate parties before beginning any digging or clean up work locate spoil piles at least 2 feet from the edge of the excavation do not use mechanical excavators within 3 meter which is equal to 10 feet of any underground pipes cables or other obstructions Do not operate motor vehicles or heavy equipments within 2 meter or the depth of the excavation whichever is greater for any excavation Excavated areas must be barricaded safe access must be provided if ladder is used as a safe access it must be extended at least 3 feet above the landing area at and also mentioned in the picture let's talk about the confined space entry any structure that has limited or restricted means of entry or exit is not designed for human occupancy contains or has the potential to contain hazardous atmosphere contains any other recognized serious safety or health hazard for example tanks vessels vessel skirts manholes sewers wall boxes lift stations and structures are excavations 4 feet deep or deeper areas above floating roof tanks where the top of the roof is more than 4 feet below the rim of the tank are also considered confined spaces some of the examples are shown in these pictures picture on the left is of a manhole and right one is of a wall station these are the good examples of confined space more images to understand confined space pictures of a tank and other one is trench deeper than 4 feet in future i shall share a detailed video on confined space entry safety our next topic is hand tool safety select the right tool for the job examples of unsafe practices are striking hardened faces of hand tools together such as using a carpenter's hammer to strike another hammer hatchet or metal chisel using a file for prey a wrench for a hammer using a cheater and pliers instead of the proper wrench 
keep the tools in good working conditions wrenches with cracked work jaws screw drivers with broken points or broken handles hammers with loose heads dull saws use tools the right way screw drivers apply to object held in the hand knives pull toward the body and failure to ground electric equipment are common cause of accidents keep store tools in a safe and secure place many accidents have been caused by tools falling from overhead and by knives chisels and other sharp tools our next topic is power tools safety never carry a power tool by the cord or hose never yank the cord or the hose to disconnect it from the receptacle keep cords and hoses away from heat oil and sharp edges cords are required to be free of frays and cuts if the cord is damaged the equipment shall be removed from the services immediately disconnect tools when not in use before servicing and when changing accessories such as blades bits and cutters use power tools that are equipped with functioning constant pressure switches or controls that will shut off the power when released that is a dead man switch do not use power tools that are equipped with trigger locks do not remove protective shields guards that are supplied with tools by design disconnect power tools from the power source before changing bits blades cutters or wheels do not use portable electric power tools that are rated for use at a voltage exceeding 240 volts ensure that power sources and electric tools are of a single voltage 110 volt or 220 volt nominal within a job site or operating area match tools and extension cords to the supplied power source voltage use only electric power tools that have been certified by an independent testing and certification services and bear the appropriate certifying agency mark for example ul fm or other listed companies tools are certified as a complete unit do not alter or modify tools use portable electric power tools that are double insulated or properly grounded with a manufacturer installed three prong plug do not use plug adapters match the plugs of electric tools with the power source outlet ensure that tools and extension cords have an overcurrent protection device for example panel mounted circuit breaker or in line fuse now let's talk about grinding tools check grinding wheels to ensure they are free of defects before installing discard or destroy defective wheels inspect and ring test wheels used on fixed grinders before installing the wheel use and maintain safety guards at all times ensure that guards allow only the working part of the wheel to be exposed provide floor and bench mounted grinders with work rests that are rigidly supported and adjustable work rest must be no greater than 4 mm from the surface of the wheel Tong guards must be no greater than 7 mm from the surface of the wheel. 
do not use the sides of the abrasive wheel as a grinding surface this conclude my video thank you for watching it if you like my video please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notification regarding further videos that i shall upload on my channel see you in the next video till then have a good time bye